This is our family, and this is our van life adventure. If you'd like to follow on with all of our adventures, don't forget to like and subscribe. So after a couple of days of uh, bad weather, the sun has finally come back out again today, and thank goodness, because we've been having a little bit of a hard time come with on, just Anna. one minute, with just one solar panel. So with the sun coming out and us being in parked in one spot for a few days, Perry is taking the opportunity, you might be able to hear him, to clean the roof and put our second solar panel back on. Because one, we've been doing okay with it, but um, we've been having to run the generator quite a lot in the evenings because it's also unfortunately got cold at the same time as we lost the solar panel. But today the sun is shining, it's roasting hot. We're going out to play, aren't we? We're going out to play. We'll leave him here. We're going to go play. These are the stairs up. This is the slide down. Sure, Alright, you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Oh. Ah! oh my god! <laughs> there he is, working hard, bless him. To be fair, he does love cleaning actually. So he's giving me a job. I've got to find the fuse to the left of the battery under the black cap. Let's see if we can find it. Well, first, let's see if I can actually get the step off. Okay. Right to the left. Where's the black cap? Does he mean that? Am I gonna electrocute myself now? Yes, he means that. Okay, let's take it out. Right, needed two hands for that, but I've got it. Yeah, I think I've got it, I'll show you. Yeah. We had a slight issue with one of our solar panels. The adhesive failed on three brackets. I believe it was a combination of um, too much flex in this roof and not enough um, adhesive possibly. Um, the adhesive took well to the roof of the van, but they came clean off the brackets. Uh, that, that, and that's what the issue this one's fine i've got no movement in this bracket but i believe um yeah we've had some uh bad luck really so we took the solar panel down when we realized that it was obviously a hazard and dangerous to any car behind us so me and leo are up on the roof giving it a good scrub uh taking all the old um sealant off adhesive off and we're gonna have another go. It's a beautiful day, sun's out. So this is a good opportunity to uh, try and resolve this before we go back to England, because we've been surviving on one solar panel and it's, it's just not been quite enough. So yeah, here we are. So we're on our second round of soap and water. So the roof has cleaned up, or starting to clean up quite nice. So I think I'm going to do it in two halves. The back half, get the solar panels done, and then maybe worry about the front half. As you can see the difference um, between clean and dirty, but she was due a wash anyway. But yeah, we're getting there. I don't know if you can see that there. But that's some dirty water. Scrubbed. Look at the colour of that, black. So this is one of the brackets that doesn't budge. I've checked it. Um, it's tight, that's not going nowhere because I tried to price it off and it wasn't coming, so we left that there. But you're not going to be able to see this now so much. But it's been cleaned. Um, removed all the silicone and I've even used a very fine grit sandpaper just to take the old residue away and hopefully adding a bit more um, of a key to it so that it takes, we don't end up with a, 
loose solar panel. So we're pretty much ready to go. Got me uh, Sika Flex 522, me gun. Three prepped, cleaned, drilled brackets and a bit of masking tape. Here we go. Well, I told you, lunchtime's finished. <laughs> I need you on your knees, spread your weight. Oh yeah, if you just lower it down, you go that side and then I've marked where I want it to go. That's it. Alright, I'm here. Do you like how clean the roof is? Yeah, I could have a little yoga space up here, couldn't I? Oh yeah, look at you. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done. So I've had to take the audio out of this part as there were moments where the language got a little fruity. No, I'm only joking. It's more that it actually took us quite a long time and it's a little boring to watch in real time. But basically, we're just flipping the panel over, lining up and sticking it down. And there it is. She's a good one. And hopefully, this time, it won't budge. And once that's done, it's time for a bit more playtime. Oh, and I still have one more job to do. Why is it when I do this stuff, it always goes wrong? So, Perry did the whole like solar panels on the roof today. We were meant to be having a jobs day. That's why we've not really left like the van much. So Perry did the solar panels on the roof. Great, awesome. They really needed to be done. And I really wanted to do a load of washing, get to the laundrette, put the washing in, really proud of myself. All good, found it, figured out how to use the machines. Walk back, thinking I had half an hour, come back up here, and the machine stopped working. It just stopped. So then I had to find a phone number, call the guys out to come and help me. They did come and help and they were great and they were really kind and really lovely and very thank you, no complaints about that. But now I've ended up here for like an hour. I thought I was just coming up to go and put it in the tumble dryer. It was dinner time. As well as, um the washing machine going all wrong when I was up there when I was finally walking back because um Perry I think wanted to swap out he was feeling a bit like a bit overwhelmed with the kids so he was going to swap out so that I could come back and finish dinner and he'll go over and sort out taking the washing out the dryer and stuff and on the way back I properly stacked it <laughs> like I properly stacked it I fell I dropped I just dropped but <laughs> I'm like grazed my hand that that's not bad that's fine grazed my knee and uh twisted my ankle <laughs> i must have looked like such an idiot well at least the day's done we'll have a new start tomorrow What's happening guys well so we're heading out to go it's our last day in spain Sorry. it's our final final day isn't it ollie our final full day it's our final full day Tomorrow we get the ferry, so today we are going out for a for special lunch. little lunch in Bilbao. I'm leaving. I'm leaving do. It's our leaving do. We're having a leaving do. So our first stop in Bilbao didn't work out the way we planned, so we had to go on the hunt for some food. But luckily we came across Solera, where they serve the biggest burgers you have ever seen. How's your burger, Liam? Mm -hmm. Good. My goodness, you've nearly finished it already. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Do you still need chips? Mm -hmm. No, you're good. What about you? Are you a little toasty? Good, you're happy? Uh -huh. I'm struggling a bit. Look at this beast. I can barely get it all in my mouth. And it's bigger than it looks. Yeah, I'll put the camera down. No one needs to see that. With full tummies, we are ready to have a little explore of the market near the river. Oh, I like these. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful. Look at parrots thing. Oh yeah. Oh, this is lovely. I could spend a lot of money in this market. However, we are trying to be a little bit careful. But we do let the boys pick out one final souvenir. 
If, what are you going to pick? I have either the normal man or the Yeah. You can both pick one each. What's this? It might be a little key in it, I don't know. It could be something small. It's definitely too small. Yeah, you can cool. pick and choose and see what happens. It might be a little key ring. She is selling key rings. Hola. That's the wine. What's the thing? It's a lucky deal. It's a lucky, yeah, what it's called it? a surprise. It's Show us what they are. What are they? What are they? What are they? Lucky Dick's gonna be awesome. Oh, this is what. Little memento of our last day. What's this? What is it? Oh, it's a badge. Got a badge. Let's see, you got a badge. Maybe you got badges. Oh, oh they're it. so cute. Okay, a badge wasn't quite what Ollie had in mind, but there's plenty of other stuff to distract him and keep him occupied. And no, he may not appreciate the wonderful history and architecture of this beautiful city, but I'm pretty sure that he will appreciate the desserts that we are trying to find. And we found it in Bohemian. So let's go inside and check it out and see what they have on offer. Oh, it smells nice. <gasps> Look at those cupcakes. Oh, you can tell it's our last day. Uh, are you sure? How's everyone's dessert? Bohemian is the number one rated vegan cafe in Bilbao on Happy Cow. And we can confirm, the cakes are absolutely lush. Practically rolling home, we are finishing our final day in Spain and heading back to the van. What an incredible trip it's been. We're absolutely buzzing. It's ferry day and we have yeah, chaos in the house. With much nagging and cajoling, we do get ourselves ready to head out, sort of. No, Ollie, please get in your seat. Of course, Perry's off, doing one of the most important jobs before we get on the ferry, cleaning the toilet, because you do not want your toilet full for 24 hours on the ferry. So we are off. We are left amazingly on time. It's 10 a.m., which is very good for us. Watch me eat my words. I'm going to regret saying that. But unfortunately, uh, we are having to add in topping up water because uh, our stop, they've capped off the water. Um, last year when we stopped here, they had water and we kind of came here thinking, oh, it'll be perfect. Well, we'll be able to fill up before we go. And they've capped it off. So now we've got to go somewhere else. So we have managed to get water, but it has added almost 40 minutes onto our journey, 20 minutes each way. So now we still just have to find gas and we're good to go. There's always something, isn't there? We have tried to stop to get gas on the way to the ferry and the petrol station that we've pulled into that on our app says it has gas, it does not have gas. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be difficult. And this is where the stress begins. I don't know how it happens. We always end up late and it just, it makes me feel sick. It really does. Oh no, I died. So we've had to come to somewhere else to try and get the gas. It was very nearby where we were. We're technically only 10 minutes from the port and we've got like 20 minutes to be there. So technically on paper we can do this. But now we've got to the petrol station and someone's opening their boot and taking their time. I mean, how far does And that I feel a bit like I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I'm like, please, can we go? Please. We left with so much time. <laughs> it's not even working. No, we can't do it. It's not working. No, we've just wasted so much time and they've just said they won't do it because they won't do recreational vehicles. Like, what? Oh my god, I've just... I'm freaking out and panicking because we haven't been able to sort out the LPG. And I'm panicking because I think we have to be checked in 90 minutes before. I've just double checked the ticket. We don't have to be there till 45 minutes before. Freaking out. 
Just to clarify, I don't have the ticket. Perry has it on his email. Here's hoping. Third time's a charm, right? At least now we've got time to try and get gas. So no issues with that one then? No, no. Not, so no. at least we've got a full tank of gas? Yeah. I don't and know why the other one wouldn't ask for that, but there we go. 80% full. And after that horrendously intense emotional roller coaster, we have made it to the ferry. We're very excited for this ferry because we're on the ninth deck. We've never been on the ninth deck before. Come on then, I'll give you a whistle stop tour of the boat before we set off. So, this is the bar on the eighth deck. Here you can get snacks and drinks. Nothing amazing though. Most people just chill here. And this is one of the kids' play areas. There's two, they're very similar. This is a little arty area on the eighth floor. This time they did some kids' activities there. There's also another restaurant here which does more substantial food. So this is our cabin. So you get, you can have up to four beds. The beds can go away. The boys have both chosen top bunks this time. As you can see, it's quite petite. We have our little area here. Perry, and we all get an ensuite shower bathroom. Hi, that's me. The shower is everyone's favourite part of their room. And then we're off upstairs to say goodbye to Spain and check out the kids' outdoor play area, of course. Oh, I'm struggling a bit with this one. As wonderful it is to go home and see everybody, I'm really not ready to leave Spain. We've had such an amazing trip. I'm not sure I'm quite ready for it all to be over. But whether I like it or not, it is. Time to put a brave face on and see what this ferry has to offer. It can be pretty boring, but this time they've actually got entertainment. We don't always get that. Oh, and not only that, they've turned the TV on in the room. Often the TV won't tune in to anything. But Leo is loving a bit of movie time. He's not watched Mario before. And when we're all feeling a bit claustrophobic and fed up with the room, it's off to the kids' play area. Yeah, we spend a lot of time in here. And it's not always that fun. But we make the best with what we've got. There are definitely moments of boredom and it feels like it's taking an age. But before you know it, the blue skies are left behind and the grey skies are here, which can only mean one thing. We're back in Blighty. <laughs> The weather has been the one thing I've been really worried about. I thought if we came back in May we'd be okay. Oh, I'm so glad we left Spain for this. After three months away, one of the first things you have to remind yourself when you get off the ferry, what side of the road you're meant to be driving on. Woken up back in the UK, first morning back. It's cold, it's grey, the fridge is empty. There's only one thing for it really. This is becoming a little tradition of ours. Something just to let us know we're home. A big fat Weatherspoons brekkie. Mm. <laughs> as damp as it is, it's actually still really quite pretty. Home sweet home. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye.